Hi, it's Mike from Testamat.io. I'm here to show you how to get started with Cypress test automation and the manual testing under the one roof of test management system. Let's create a new project. Fine, then, so new project is created. So you probably have the test automation already in place and you would like to move it and synchronize to test management system. Easily, it can be done by one command. So you go to your project and imports from source code. Then you would need to choose the Cypress and the programming language you are using. So here, so then I just need to copy this line and then just put it here. Fine, so we see that all the test cases are introspected and sent to test management system easily in one click without no customization. Fine, then I will press the finish button. So you may see the same folder structure as we have in test automation repository. You can open some test case and you will see the test automation implementation. Of course, to this implementation, you can add some screenshots from the buffer if you would like to. So you can de define the, the descriptions human readable if you would like to in human uh, readable format in a markdown editor and so on and so forth. You have the history to track the changes and other features. Fine then, so now we have the test automation in place. So we see this test automation, but now let's just get uh, at new test suite. Fine, so let's just create a manual test suite. It will be a new test suite. Then we'll go and create some, some checklist of the test cases. Uh, let's assume that you have a che checklist. We will put some checklist here so it may be more than 10 test cases it may be 30 or 40 right and then so one line in one test case so here we have this created we then can go to the description and it can describe our test cases for example here you see that we have this auto completion this auto completion is working based on the steps database uh, where the where we describe our test steps for example here I open the page I click in some button and then I'm checking that some page is uh, is is present on the on the page. So as you may see, so this steps auto completion working on the steps database. Fine then. So from one side we have the manual test cases, and from another side we have the test automation in place. Fine then. So if you would like to understand uh, that, okay, so something should be changed and reordering. So you can use the drag and drop and move your test cases in any way. So, but if you understand that, so manual test cases should be moved to another test suite, no problem. Just use drag and drop actions. Fine then. So you can organize a project in a different way. You can use the bulk edit actions if you would like to. So you can add a uh, uh, and new tests or you can add uh, some some tag here or you can delete some delete some test cases no problem fine then so all these actions i applied in one second so we have now uh, organized our manual test cases and automation in one place so all these changes uh, if you have some changes are displayed in a um, pulse that is the audit log so you can check what exactly was done to your project, by whom and when. Of course, you have the capability to restore something or to roll back some changes if you would like to. So here you can find the differences. So, but now let's go and execute our test cases. We have the test automation in place. So let's just start from test automation. Fine, so we have the for reporter reporter created for Cypress. So you would need to install it on your uh, project. So it's already done on my site. So then you would need to install this uh, uh, reporter on your configuration settings. Once it's done, you can execute your test cases so easily. So like you did before, but with this API key I'm using right now for my project, right? So you will have another unique um, API key. So this test execution has been started. I would we would need to wait a little bit to see the results, right? So we see that something is happening. So uh, no need to wait until the end. So we will go and finish it. We will see. Okay, so some test automation execution has been started. So um, and so we would need to wait a little bit. So these results will flow to test management system. 
So uh, we, in fact, we have implemented the real-time reporting. So you don't need to wait until the end. You can open the intermediate results. Here you can see that the stack trace, what exact issues, you, you may see the descriptions, you may see the test code implementation or some attachments if you have. So everything on the one screen. And after this, after this so you can check this and traverse through the, through the results so let's just go and uh, execute our manual test cases so on the left hand side we have a checklist of our test cases we should go through we mark this passed or failed right so we can define the message why it was failed so of course we can add some screenshots easily through the buffer through the copy and paste so no problem i can mark this passed or failed or skipped by keyboard so and then we will finish and we have done so we have our test results from one side we can filter what is failed on the manual test execution you can we can check the the, the results here so we can uh, check some supplementary files or some um, results right so the same way you can do with uh, test automation right so you can check it and see what was failed so and you have the results of course, we have a lot of different advanced features, like we have uh, the steps database where you can define the steps or snippets. So that should be frequently used during the description of your test automation or uh, manual scenarios. You can define uh, and, 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 and check so what, what will be tracked and what was changed, created or deleted in the pulse, that is the audit log. So you can check the analytics, so what was covered, what was covered and uh, what the percentage of the automation coverage. So what defects do you have and what test cases are found by these defects. So we have the ever failing test cases or never executed test cases, stuff like test cases and so on and so forth. We have also implemented the manual branches uh, branches for the manual test cases. Of course, you can add the continuous integration easily. So add the GRAM. So if you would like to, or for example, the add the reporting notification to the Slack or Teams or email. Feel free to use test management system uh, to to provide. Yeah, to provide to your team the visualization of your test automation in test management system and to hold the manual testing and test management system under the one roof.